Now what we're going to do is uh, check that our sump level is okay. We don't want to overflow it if we lose power. So we're going to shut the pumps down. And the water rises when you shut the pumps down. Okay, now that our overflows are drained out and we can see it's not going to overflow, so we're going to turn the pump back on and then mark our sump level. Now that our pumps are back on, this is going to be our sump level because we know it's not going to overflow. So we're going to mark the sump level right there, and that will be our full level. This is a float valve. It allows us to top off the sump with water directly from the RODI unit. We are going to drill a hole exactly one inch above the full level. We make the bottom of the hole at the top of the one inch tape. I like installing the valve directly into the sump rather than have a standalone unit as it takes up less space and I feel it is the sturdiest. Now that we have finished our hole, we are going to install our float valve. The float valve allows water to come into the sump when the level is low and stops it when it reaches the full level. There is a needle valve here that will stop the water. Next we tighten it up and use Teflon tape to wrap around the threads. This is the compression adapter, which we attach to the valve itself. Make sure it is secure. Next we take the green RODI line, slide the housing onto the end, and then install into the compression adapter. The float valve is now at the full level, so the valve is not letting any water into the sump now. But if I touch it and push down, we can see the fresh RODI water will flow into the sump. 